So we got a new Project Nursery monitor and it has a little uh, one and a half inch monitor. And it also comes with the uh, 4.3 inch monitor that does pan and tilt and you can talk and do a bunch of other things with that as well. So I've had this charging for several hours before we're even attempting to turn it on and it's a good idea to do that with any device uh, the first time you're setting it up. You just need to make sure you take the covers off so you can actually see. So you can either hold the mini monitor with a little hand strap if you want that. They also have an attachment that can clip on to your belt if you want to use that. And then they also have something that looks like a watch that you can clip on to as well. So one thing that I thought was a little odd about this was uh, generally you would have to pair this with the monitors. And this one is located on the back, so being that I'm going to be mounting this to the wall, make sure that you pair it with your monitors before you get started. Otherwise, you're going to have to get up, take it off the wall, pair it, and then put it back up. Uh, some of the other models, they would actually have it paired where you just push a button on the front, and it would be no issue. Uh, I think they originally designed this to just sit on a, a shelf or something like that. But There's this little blue uh, LED light here. They do provide you with stickers that if you want to uh, put a, a cover over that light, if that bothers your kid, um, you can do that as well. See, how do you pair this? All right. Unpack. Charge the monitor. Press the power button. We get that far. Press menu button. We're going to press menu and then we're going to go move the joystick on the front of the mini camera to highlight the purple one. Highlight that purple light bulb. Move joystick down to highlight pair camera. You gotta press OK first. OK. Pair of camera. And then you have to press OK to select the pair of camera. And you have to push the bottom on. Push the button on the bottom of the uh, monitor. So now we're ready to pair the camera. So now I have to take the monitor and press pair on the bottom of the monitor. Now I get a little green check. So now it works. So I think I might not be able to use both monitors at the same time. Let's see, I'll try to turn this one back on. Yeah, so you're only able to connect to one monitor at a time. Okay. So the mounting screws I had for the old baby monitor are not going to work uh, just because I have this wire sticking up that I didn't have on the old monitor, so I'm going to have to lower this to make room. So if you wanted to pair the camera and you didn't have a video, you would hit menu, go to the camera, say OK. You go down to pair camera, say OK. And you would do this for each camera. So camera one, you would say OK. You go back to the camera unit on the back and it says pair, that little button I showed you before. And that's how you would pair the cameras. You get a little green check and you'd be all good to go. So getting out of the menu. If you wanted to say this wasn't in the right position and you wanted to see a different part of the crib or a different part of the room, hold down on the center button and you can go left and go right, you know, 
up down and just put it towards wherever you want to get the best view if you want to lower the volume just go left if you want to increase the volume go right you can talk so you can say hey how you doing and then the camera can talk to the menu you can have motion alerts if you want you can play lullabies Oh, they have white noise that's awesome so that's one of the things that we always use to help with uh, our child asleep that way she doesn't hear every time we walk up and down the steps or make any noise but now they have it built in so that's pretty cool so this is a little bit harsher of a white noise than I'm used to so you hit it again it goes from green to red it turns off Green means it's playing. You can also go into record if you wanted to. You need your SD card apparently. I don't have one installed. So you can get motion detection and all that. So it's a pretty cool monitor. Uh, pretty cool setup. It's a lot better than the one we had a couple of years ago. So, I like it. Um, the last monitor we had from Project Nursery, which was a couple of years ago, the charging port went bad. So, hopefully the same thing doesn't happen. And at least with this one, you get two monitors, one of the large monitors and one of the small monitors. I was expecting that you would have been able to see both monitors at the same time. So, if somebody's downstairs or someone's out back... Uh, two people could be watching it, but apparently you can only watch one monitor at a time, so that's something I didn't expect. But overall, I like it, and it seems like a good camera and a good monitor. So, alright, hope that was helpful, and uh, good luck. So whenever you mount a baby monitor, you also want to think about the cords. You don't want the cords to be too close to the kid. Um, they might be able to grab them, they might put the wire in their mouth. If it's too long, they might put it around their neck. So thinking about that, I have half inch uh, little plastic cable staples and I'll use those to keep the cable away from the crib. And the other added bonus is this wire looks like it might be putting a little extra tension on that. So you don't want that connection to wear out over time. So by doing this, uh, it'll uh, also help so the camera doesn't break. Just by using a couple of cable staples, then you don't have to worry about your kid accidentally, you know, putting a wire around their neck or something stupid. So, just keep it out of reach.